watching for a friend where I watch movies and shows because I love them and let you know whether it's worth watching or not. If you're new here, thank you so much for choosing me. I hope that you enjoy this video and stay till the end. And if you are returning, thank you so much for choosing me again. And I hope that you also enjoy this video and stay till the end. So let's get into this. Per usual, this is going to be a recap and reaction to this week's episode or the latest episode of In of Insecure. <laughs> the, this week's episode or the latest episode of Insecure, episode seven. And for this episode, we see the aftermath for Molly after her and Issa's explosive fight and we see a little bit of how she's faring after all of this is said and done. So we start off with her at the Ethiopian restaurant and what we didn't see when Issa showed up at the Ethiopian restaurant last week is that Molly saw her coming and pretended to be busy. What Issa saw was Molly doing just fine. She's like, oh, she's not worried about me. She looks like she is doing well. Well, that turned out to be a lie because Molly ain't doing so good. So she, once she sees that Issa left, turned around and left, she gets offended and of course goes, runs home to tell Andrew. Andrew is again, so understanding and compassionate and he immediately immediately asks if she's going to reach out to Issa to try to see if they can fix things and Molly says no. <laughs> we also find out in the scene that they're going on vacation. Molly is actually going to be meeting Andrew's brother and sister-in-law which is a big deal but at the very last minute she gets an email from her assistant saying that they're she's going to have to do a meeting before she leaves when we see her the next day at work she kind of chews out her assistant over the mistake and this was a little unfair her assistant admitted that she was wrong she apologized and molly still stayed upset with her and reamed her out and one of the things that i noticed about this episode is that they try to make it very clear that she has a problem letting things go i felt like there was some wasted screen time we already know that molly's petty we already know that she likes to take out her anger on kind of innocent bystanders and people especially as frustrating as she has been this entire season i really wanted to like molly more in this episode but she was still too difficult. You know, if I'm being completely honest, I wasn't a huge fan of this episode. And I know there was a lot of excitement around it because Jay Ellis was the director of this episode and I'm sure he's really excited for that accomplishment. And I thought that the directing was fine, but it was a little boring just to see Molly and Andrew and me. But there were some things that were important in this one. So um, once they get to the hotel and meet Andrew and his brother, he is, his brother is kind of a type A personality, very different and opposite from Andrew, who's very laid back and go with the flow. And I really liked his brother's wife. She was really sweet. And then, you know, his brother was fine. He was kind of, you know, a, very much a type A, <laughs> somebody that you wouldn't necessarily want to vacation with. So loved that Kim Field was placed throughout this episode. We first see her on the plane. She was really the only comic relief that we had in this particular episode. And so her scenes were a breath of fresh air. So I really appreciated that. Another thing that I really liked about this particular episode was the conversation that Molly and Andrew had about Nathan. At one point, Nathan FaceTimed Andrew and was like, oh, you know, I can't get out of the garage again. And Andrew was giving him some directions. They hear Issa in the back. She like said one thing and that changes Molly's mood. And she says something a little sideways <laughs> about Nathan. And I was like, okay, that's still Andrew's like best friend and roommate. Why are you still so salt? Like, why have you not built a bridge? But Andrew checks her and I can appreciate that. So Andrew was like, you know, Nathan had a lot going on at that time. And he was really going through it when he couldn't speak to Issa and when he and Issa had the issue. And she was like, what did Nathan have going on? And he was like, mental health stuff. And she finally 
decided to reflect on that <laughs> and not think about herself for a moment and that kind of shut her right up. The other big thing that happened this episode, which I, again I don't want to go into too deep detail, is that there was an issue where Molly tried to get a towel. Well, the person that was attending the, you know, the structure to get the towels asked, you know, she's like, it's procedure to ask for the room keys. Could you show me your room key and then I can give you a towel. Gushing gets really heated with Andrew's brother because he is almost, you know, minimizing what Molly is saying. You know, like that's what's going through Molly's head. She's like, oh, she thinks because I'm black, I'm going to steal this towel. So she's trying to do procedures, but the people ahead of me, she, because they were white, she's not assuming that they, you know, she's assuming that they have the money to pay for this. I get how upsetting that is. And there's no way to, there's no reason to minimize that. Um, I don't know that's what Andrew's brother was trying to do, but it was, you know, you've been in those, I can relate. I've been in those conversations where people try to minimize it and that is not okay either. Um, but then she went into a whole bunch of other offensive. <laughs> she had to, you know, she, she got defensive and then she started getting offensive and started saying things that may be unfair because she doesn't know these people very well. She definitely knows Andrew and knows that he doesn't think in, you know, this way. But this is something, this is a conversation that does come up between black people and other people of color who are more accepted in today's society, especially Asian. So I thought it was important to put that on screen. I don't know that the vessel was the best because we don't know if Molly was overreacting because I don't know <laughs> that the woman treated the white people any differently than she treated Molly. Either Molly was right and she was, you know, being discriminated against or she absolutely overreacted there are there there's not much gray area there so after all was said and done and the next day his brother and sister-in-law you know went their separate ways and then molly does some self-reflection and from that figures that she needs help letting things go and i don't know how we got there <laughs> i didn't see the connections being made in her mind as this was going on she went from i'm not overreacting to oh i have a part time letting things go it wasn't the best vessel to to molly's uh character arc they get back to la there wasn't much other than that they get back to la she sees lawrence in the airport i don't know if anybody else picked up on this but she seemed oddly too happy to see him. <laughs> I don't think that I would be that happy to see any of my good friends' exes, even if they were, yeah, even if they were not friends anymore. I'm not, like, so excited to see their exes. <laughs> it was just, I'm like, okay, you guys aren't really talking right now. You had a problem with her asking Andrew if he can get Vince Staples to come, and you're, like, all excited to see him in the airport. That was just weird. <laughs> Anyway, she's still problematic. <laughs> and so the one Easter egg that's in here is that Lawrence says he's coming back from San Francisco. And I got a little excited, I'm not gonna lie, that he, they're finally going to transition him out of the show and that he's going to move to San Francisco either because he sold his app finally or because he got a better paying job that's going to move him in the direction that he wants to go in. So. I hope next week we get more information about what he was doing in San Francisco because I'm thinking maybe he's gonna move because the tech industry is booming up there. I think he'll be great in San Francisco. What do you guys think they're gonna do about Molly? <laughs> I have always really liked Molly for the past three seasons and this season I've just getting been getting more and more disconnected from her. Do you guys think they're going to keep us on this roller coaster? Do you guys think that they will um, remove Molly from the show? I, I can't see that happening, but at this point I feel like they're trying to, you know, disconnect us from her character so that we don't care anymore but I, I would love to see Molly and Issa work this out by the end of the season. Um, but I'm, I'm really having a hard time figuring out where it's going. So let me know what you guys think and I will see you.